Today I am going to be doing the hashtag Dear Me. Um, YouTube is doing this now and I thought I would do it. Let's get started. Dear Me, I know you just started first grade and you must be getting excited because you just got out of kindergarten. You may think that it's going to be a wild ride, which it was, and you might think that a lot of stuff might, may happen, and a lot did. In the middle of the year, you might be dragged in into drama, your first drama. You might think that someone is teasing you when they really are, and you can be sad and cry about it, what you did, and you can't do nothing about it because you don't know anything. You don't know what to do or anything when somebody has done that to you for the first time. And you just have to be ready to be more because you're not like everyone else. You don't play football or you wouldn't do anything, but you do do some nice stuff. Now starting third grade. Third grade is when you think, oh, I'm big, I'm kind of big, because I'm bigger than kindergarten, preschool, but you're really not. You are gonna go do way more stuff, and this time, your grades count. Your grades are the most powerful things that will happen to your life, and it will ruin your future, or it will not. This is when you think the teacher is mean in the middle of the year. You know her a lot, but you don't really know her. She may yell at you, she may do mean things to you, but the real thing she's trying to do is make you learn more. Now starting fifth grade. You pass fourth, you pass third, you pass second, you pass first. This is the grade where you do a fun thing which is science camp. We'll have so much fun at science camp. You learn so much things. You learn to do so much things too. You met new people and you met new friends. You may be sad because you didn't get archery and because you got this jumping thing. When you leave, you really are sad because you have to leave with your lunch commander's necklace and she told you to never let somebody bully you that will make you really happy that somebody really listened to you. Starting six, you are so happy because you're finally almost out of grade school. But remember, you still have your grades. You are so happy for the end of the year, but you need points. So you try your best and your best, and you finally get it. You, after all that hard work you've done, you deserved it. After that, you go to Great America and you graduate. You were so happy that you did and you went out with your friends. But you are also sad that you're most all alone the whole Great America trip. You are sad that everyone else has a couple and you're not. You don't need that. Just be yourself and someday in high school or college you will have one. You don't want to go too fast or else you will break down and lose your grades or maybe your future. Here comes summer. Summer, you don't do anything. You're bored, so you don't do anything. And you just sit there doing nothing. Comes the first day of middle school. You're freaked out. You have no idea what's gonna go on. And you don't, you don't wanna go to school. Here comes your first period. You think the teacher is nice. You think she's gonna do everything she can for you. And she will. Second period is peer advisory. You think you might learn a lot of stuff about why. And you really do. And you learn so much. Now comes the third period. Science. You think the teacher is gonna be so nice. When she really wants a lot for you to get into high school. And she does. Next comes social studies. You think the teacher is the nicest teacher of all. She really is. She wants you to do your best 
and she will also be your coach in cross country. Next is fifth period, lingua drops. You think your teacher is going to be so nice as all the other ones, but she is calm and seems to be happy with her life. Mm, I think it is too. Next comes PE, your most favorite subject of all. You think the teacher is going to be mean and trying to get us to work out, but she really isn't. She's trying to get our grades up in PE. She makes us run, she makes us do it all, but that's for the grades and to make us work harder in life. And that's a nice thing. Now, November, before the school started, you start YouTube. And you love it. And you would do nothing to make it stop it. Either it's grades or it's something else. You will try your best to keep it up. And your videos. And your fans you can't let down. Or they will not watch you anymore. And you would not like that. People may tell you a lot of mean comments about your YouTube channel. But you don't really care. You just keep on going and you just be yourself and you let nobody else take that away from you either it's a bully or anything you just keep on going and dress what you want to wear be you just remember you don't have to wear girls don't have to wear makeup or anything for you to like them you have to pick their real self for who they really are and if you want a person in life who is stuck up about their hair or their body, then that person is not right for you. Or if they do bad things to you. You are not going to do drugs. You are not going to do anything. You are not going to do weed or all that other stuff. You are not going to drink under the, your age. Of course, you are not going to do all that stuff, but it's okay to be yourself sometimes. You don't have to be over dramatic or talk about your personality and think to yourself, what am I doing with your life? Because you don't have to do that. You're perfect the way you are and you wouldn't change it for the world. So I hope you guys liked that. That was my hashtag Dear Me. To my first grade self, um, at that time I was really focused on sixth grade and everything about getting a girlfriend. But now that I really think of it, I don't really need that right now. I could need that when I'm bigger, but I don't really need that right now. All I need to focus on is my grades and my home life and YouTube, of course, because you guys mean so much to me and I wouldn't change the world without making videos for you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want more, please press that like and subscribe button for more each week. Each video comes on each Friday. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is SergioGiharo period 13. And if you guys want to follow me on Vine, it is just SergioGiharo. I checked. There are a lot of profiles. Mine is the one with me around the tree. And tell me what you guys want next. Either it's a challenge or something else. Just tell me. You guys have the right to tell me what you guys want me to do. And I'll do it. So until next time, bye guys. <laughs> Dear first grade me, let's get started. <laughs>